In picturesque Lancaster, Kentucky, there is a hidden gem of a restaurant. It's called Bradford Barbecue. Welcome to our place. We started out in Lexington. We started out as a caterer and then we went into food trucking. And at that time, there weren't uh, a lot of uh, friendly regulations and rules in Lexington because it was brand new. So we went to, before the council got the food truck um, areas passed. At the same time that happened, the breweries opened. So the demand for the food trucks far exceeded the number of food trucks. So we have the Bluegrass Food Truck Association. When it first started out, there were about 10 trucks. We're all brick and mortars now. Um, now there's probably 135 or 150 uh, trucks with about 5,000 followers. Wow. Uh, it's a free organization. Anybody can join. So we started doing the food truck and then we became a brick and mortar in Lexington and we were mainly catering. And uh, we did UK, a lot of big horse farms, that kind of thing. And we were like, we don't really need a brick and mortar in Lexington to cater. Those are our big events. We were going to build in Garrett County. We love Garrett County. It's beautiful. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. And um, we found this venue was open, the historic home, and they weren't doing anything with it. We partnered with uh, the Garrett County Fiscal Court and put some money into the house. We now own the house. We use it for murder mysteries, events, weddings, um, anything that anybody wants to rent it for. They can rent the whole house, a room, uh, whatever. So um, we had the smokehouse over here in this area and the historic home, the Governor Owsley home. So uh, we partnered with our friend uh, Colby Reich, who is a firefighter in Lexington and a police officer in uh, Lincoln County, and did the brewery. So now we're a brewery. Um, we have our systems and we're getting ready to um, distribute. So that's our end game because we know we're not in a big city. So we got to get our product out there. So we have several people who have already signed up that want, want to sell our beer in Lexington. So our goal is Lexington, Louisville, and all over Kentucky the first year. And then we're going to branch out to Nashville and Ohio with our beer. At first, it seems like your classic smokehouse joint. But owners Jennifer, Matt, and Colby want to make it more than that. They want it to be a destination. We had spent a year, better part, looking for a place to call home, mm -hmm. and this literally fell in Jennifer's lap. So she had um, sent a message to the state wondering what was going to happen with the house at this time it was vacant. So uh, 2016, no response. 2017, they responded. Um, the court actual executive judge responded back by email, hey, we'd love to meet you guys, come talk to us. The home was built in the 1800s and it was the residence of Kentucky's 16th governor. The house we can use as private dining. We can have up to 50 over here. We can use the yard if we want to. So at any given time, we can have over 200 people here. And that's what our goal was. The original section of the home was built around 1804 and it contains two large dining rooms with huge fireplaces, a kitchen and a modern bathroom. The main section of the home was built around 1825. It opens into a formal hallway, two large dining areas, two stairways, family quarters upstairs, and four fireplaces. A large formal dining room built around 1840 is home to hunt scene wallpaper from France. It is absolutely stunning, y'all. Our mission was to enjoy some of that delicious house-smoked barbecue, and boy, did we ever. We had a sampling of their various meats, like their brisket, chicken, pulled pork, and sausage, along with several of their sides, their baked beans, mac and cheese, potato salad, and slaw. Honestly, I'm not really a beans person, but whoo buddy, those were good. And y'all, we can't even begin to pick a favorite because it was all so delicious. Everything was smoked to perfection and we couldn't have asked for more. But then they brought out what can only be considered the holy grail of desserts. Red velvet waffles with white chocolate raspberry ice cream. Holy flippin' cocoa, y'all. There is not a word in the English language that could adequately describe how delicious this was. Mind-blowing, fantastic, positively perfect in every way. Yum, yum, yum. We finished it all, no question. Bradford Barbecue is one of those places that you visit for a meal with friends. You enjoy some barbecue, watch the football game, and just spend time in the company of the people you care about. It's the kind of place where nearly everyone is a regular and everything on the menu is worth trying at least once. We wish we lived closer so we could enjoy it some more, but until we venture back to Lancaster, Kentucky, we'll just be sharing their mouth-watering pictures on Facebook. 
Thank you to Matt and Jennifer for hosting us. Y'all have created something very special at Bradford Barbecue. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.